Great here, welcome to a World of Warships replay. It's been a while. Pause for the announcer. Action stations. It's been a couple of years. A lot has changed in World of Warships. A lot of has changed in my setup. I'm actually running the game and this recording. But I end this recording completely under Linux, which is fun and a story in and of itself. This is on Two Brothers, the map that everyone loves to YOLO down the middle. Fortunately, we have no one YOLOing down the middle. Yet. It was late at night on the New York... Not New York, North American server. <laughs> Might be in New York. So, the match is only 9v9 and only a tier 7. But This is after the 10.0 uh, Commander rework. So a lot of shenanigans are possible, but nothing really happens in this match. I'm divved up with a uh, clan mate of mine, Skipper, in his Zara. He was uh, grinding it out, so I decided to break out my one of my many Miyokos. So at the beginning of the match, we noticed that the, the Colorado uh, on the east... Yeah, is that the... No, that's the west. On the west my other east, was out by himself, so we decided to head over east with him. We saw that the Iron Duke was coming over, and uh, Skipper kind of confused me. That The reason I'm looking around is he said, Iron Duke, guard the center. I thought, Iron Duke going down the center. I, I don't know. I kept looking back. Whatever. Now, normally, I fire HE out of my uh, Japanese cruisers. However... At the end of last match, I was on AP, and I haven't noticed it yet. However, when I do, it's going to be rather fortunate. Sighted on the horizon. Thank you. So here I'm spotted. I'm pretty sure it's the DD that's spotting me. We see the Shores. The Shores kind of tries to turn, but he gets nailed by both the Iron Duke and the Colorado. He swings back. And this is when I realized I had AP loaded. And the Shores realized it too. Enemy cruiser sunk. So that's my first kill in the match. Now, here Skipper and I are having a little bit of a conversation. Well, he's talking, I'm actually typing. He's worried that I'm going broadside in front of this Nelson because the Nelson um, apparently is in a, a rather decent clan. However, Something that doesn't show up on the replay is I, I, I've got a mod that shows um, people's win rates and their their uh, rated skill in any given ship. Now, I'm mentioning that not because I want to skill shame anyone. I'm just explaining this is why I, I turn, because as I'm going to type out in chat here, um, he's only an average player, so I, I felt confident that I could go broadside on my Miyoko in front of him. Generally, you don't want to do that unless you know you can get away with it. There's more of the uh, uh, Shiratsuyu's torpedoes. There he is. I take a couple of shots. The Gaijo Mata, I hope I'm pronouncing these correctly, is going to start engaging him. Here I'm... Well, yeah, I angled in because I saw the shots coming in from the New York. And since the shots came in from the New York, I knew I was I was clear to start my turn backwards because I didn't want to get too much closer to the Nelson or the New York. Now these torpedoes, I fire out because the Shirotsuyu was last seen heading that direction. I thought, put the corpse out. Maybe he's going to pause somewhere, they might surprise him, they might not. I'm not going to use the torpedoes on anything else in the next little bit when they would reload, so why not fire them? And with the Nelson going to the furthest end of my gun range, I switch over to the New York. Now we've lost the Pensacola on the east, which means the east is now outnumbered 4-3. to three. I haven't noticed this yet, but it's going to come up in just a minute. 
And here's the shirt to you again. He smokes up, I take a couple shots, and here's where our Gajamata just... I don't know what he was thinking. He's got the New York, the Nelson, the Shiratsuyu, Suyu. Wow, I can't pronounce that. The Lazo. All able to see, see him and fire at him. So he's obviously going to leave his smoke and charge um, the Shiratsuyu. He gets his torpedoes off, but I'm pretty sure that... Uh, the enemy DD is going to... <laughs> See, I'm not going to try to pronounce it again. The enemy DD is just going to dodge. Of course, I'm throwing torps out. Again, same reason. Maybe he dodges those torps, pop back into the smoke, whatever. I just want to keep stuff heading that direction. Because I'm not going to use it in the next... Uh, I, I think the reload on this is right around a minute. Uh, maybe 80 seconds. I'm obviously not going to use it. Why not throw it out there? You never know what's going to happen. Mind you, I'm doing this also because there's no one else, none of my allies in front of me. So don't do that when your allies are in front of you. Bad things happen. This is where I decide we're 3v4 on this side, but we're kind of holding. The other side is, is retreating. Uh, we've got three, four ships chasing the destroyer and the battleship behind the island at C9. Our other Koenig, the other battleship, is in D6, so that side is in complete retreat. I figure we're holding the side. I can I can go across, see if I can help out there. Besides, for me to get anything into range of my guns, I would have to turn around and then approach them. We're here. I'm already in range of the New York, and as soon as I see him, I'll be able to take shots. So there are my first shots on the New York. By the way, I have to give a shout out here. Ooh, nice hit from the Koenig. Got a simple fire. Um, <laughs> the Ganevni there. He did a, a great job over here harassing everyone, and he has a great name, the Rogue Waffle. So here's more shots on the New York, and that fire is still burning. And this is important because this is actually the first time that I've ever, in my entire time on World of Warships, looked at a ship and went, you know, that fire's not going out. He's dead. I'm not going to waste the ammo. Normally, I would fire to secure the shot because I know that last second... Enemy battleship sunk. That last second damage control happens, but I figured, no, I'm just, I'm just going to let him go. So I'm continuing to head west uh, in hopes of finding the Ganevni. I saw the Emil. Did I see the Emil? No, I didn't. Not yet. I'm a little ahead of myself. Here I'm going to take a another speculative torp shot because I don't know where the Emil is. And ships kind of like going through that, that area there. So I figure I'll, I'll fire some torps. And that's when he pops up over on that island. So I swing over, fire guns, and then continue my turn. I'm not too concerned about his guns, but the Normandies could really hurt if he uh, drew a beat on me. So a few more shots on the Emil. I know I can take him out before he gets out of range. So I'm keeping somewhat angled on the Normandy. And that's when I see, ah, another fire. He just put one out, so he's dead. Now I'm looking at the Ganemini. I want to get him off of my New Mexico. But I keep looking back at that Emil just in case. But his health is still going down, so he is dead. Enemy cruiser destroyed. With the Ganemni um, chased away from the New Mexico, I put shots out of the Normandy, who's broadside on. 
The New Mexico takes a good chunk out of them. Okay. I don't know this yet, but the West just lost its second battleship. The Iron Duke died. Which leaves... Which leaves my, uh... My div mate, Skipper, over there by himself. So he is now retreating. And I don't know if he stayed dark or if he's firing, but he's definitely not pushing that flank anymore. Look at this condemnity just continuing to harass us. More speculative torps. More shots out at him just to keep him at a distance. And here, the enemy team is now up on kills, up over 300 points, closing in on 400 points. So here's a few shots out of Normandy. Now I know he's going backwards. So I'm aiming high, hoping that I can land them on his bow. No, oh, Confederate. I say that as if I didn't know I got Confederate on this match. I keep firing, and somewhere in here, I don't know why, right about here, I think, wait a minute, he's moving forward now, he's not going backwards. So I need to aim ahead of him. I lower my aim. But he's still going backwards. And I think it takes me like three shots to figure it out. There, now I'm aiming back up again. And there's a fire. A few more shots. He's gonna go behind the rock, so I'm now turning back west. As I get my fourth kill, third from uh, fires. Roger. All stations. Reporting now that was Skipper telling me that target. the DD is around somewhere he thinks it's hugging the island. So again, I'm going to fire speculative torps. In the off chance that I might catch him. I know he can see me. I just don't know where he is. However, I do know he's not in the cap. However, when I pop into the cap, I'm not sure if the replay shows it. But I'm pretty sure right about here is when he pops into the cap. I hit my hydro. I'm able to spot him. And a DD this close to a Miyoko with HE loaded is just dead. Enemy destroyer blown up. So there's the Kraken Unleashed. Here, Skipper and I are having a conversation. We know that at this point level, we're not able to win. But he's so low that he doesn't want to face the Nelson. But he has to push A. We're, we're now capping D. This is the first time that we've actually had anything other than B. We're now capping D. We're definitely going to get it because the Genevni, uh, Genevni, 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 one of the two, was pushed back far enough we're actually going to get that. We see where the Lazo is. We don't know where the Nelson is. So Skipper's going to push into A. And we're, we're, I'm basically telling him and he's confirming that if he sees the Nelson, he's just going to run. He's not going to, he's not going to give them more points. They are now pushing 900 points. I have to go down and cap C through the middle. As I round this corner, fortunately, there it is. There's the Nelson. We know the Nelson is now heading over to the east, which gives Skipper a free cap on A as long as he just stay, you know, keeps a, a, a safe distance. But I have to come through the middle with that Nelson and the lasso down there. Now, I'm slowing down a bit. Oh, not yet. 
Actually, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm fluctuating between three fourths and full, just because I don't know where the ships are. I don't want to go blundering into them. Because if I do, there's. I, I'm dead. Now there's the Nelson at 11, well, originally had 12 kilometers. Now if you look at the lower left part of the screen, there's a whole bunch of stats. Those are the, the ship stats. And the second line shows that I have on this ship a 15, I'm sorry, an 11.5 kilometer detection radius. He's at 11.7. He's turning away to engage the two battleships in D. So I'm able to creep forward but I still do not want to be detected before I can actually maneuver. On the other hand, the enemy team is now up to 932 points. I have to go soon. Now we know where the Lazo is. We know where the Ganemni is. It's, uh, the Ganemni is moving back north over by D. The Nelson is moving out away from me. We just capped A. So now our points are increasing much more than theirs are, but they're at 940 points. I have to get in the cap and the Nelson gave me just enough room to do it. Now that I'm in here, I can go full throttle. I can turn, get out of the mouth, get room to maneuver. And then I can start putting fire into the Nelson. Unfortunately, it took so long. I believe this is the shot. There it is. The Nelson took out the New Mexico. They're up to 980 points. If I leave this cap, they win. If they kill another ship, they win. And our ships over in D are very, very low on health. There's my high caliber on this match. <laughs> kind of explains why I wanted to record this. It would be great if I got this cap, but I know with them returning fire, it's not going to happen. I just cannot leave this cap. So with the Nelson having just fired, I fired my guns and I believe, yes, this is where I continue my turn because he's not going to reload with my broadside directly against him. Okay, somehow he got that those guns off. I have to slow down here. I cannot Problem leave solved, this cap, so I have to slow down. I'm looking away to make sure that I know exactly where I am. I'm also rotating my guns to the other side. Coding got the Nelson. We're still down on points. We're now down to, well, they're up to 920 points. So we can suffer a death here, but only just. There's only two minutes left in the match. We have to kill another ship. We're not going to pull the points back with just the caps. So I have to take on the Lazo. The Mitsuki and the Koning have to take on the Ganevdi. And that's the Ganevdi who's been just having a great harassment game so far. This is where I learned the Lazo is not a ship you want to be dueling at this range. But I have to do it. More shots out, more shots in from him. I've got a little bit more health than he does. He hits me. I hit him back. I still have a little more health. There, the Mitsuki killed the Ganevni. Don't ask me how. That's when I realize I don't have to take on the Lazo anymore. And if I die, we lose the game. I decide to go dark. My damage control was still up. If he sets a fire, I can immediately put it out. I'm now dark. His last shots come in. No fire. I'm now backing up. I'm nosing in, waiting for his shots to come in. None of them are gonna hit. We now have the points. We have the caps. He has to kill at least one of us to win. And I'm not gonna give him that opportunity. So I'm going to capture the final capture point with five seconds to spare on the clock. We're almost going to have enough points to point out win or win on points. There's my two compliments. One to Fireman DG, the Lazo. The other one to Captain Caveman, the Nelson. 
It was a great match. Good show. So that was the win with High Caliber, uh, Kraken Unleashed, Confederate, Burst Blood, and so close of a match. That was such a great match. I love matches like that. And uh, I figured, why not share it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and hope you have a great day.